Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and this week I'm going to discuss three wire versus four wire wiring. The standard 480 volt three phase supply for commercial buildings in the U.S. is 480 volt three phase four wire. This consists of three hot lines, L1, L2, and L3, and a neutral. But occasionally the neutral wire is not available or it's not pulled to the terminal units. These are usually older neighborhoods or rural areas. The neutral wire is used to handle load imbalances. You want to balance your load across all three phases of the three phase power. The neutral wire is also an unbroken ground path to the circuit breaker panel, so it provides an additional degree of safety. There are two basic three phase wiring configurations, Y and delta, and they look like this. So the Y is kind of shaped like a Y. and then you have a neutral connected to the common point of all three loads. So here we have L1, L2, L3, and neutral. With the four wire Y, you can get 480 volts line to line. So between L1 and L2, 480 volts, L2, L3, 480 volts, and between L1, L3 is 480 volts but you can also get 277 volts between any line in neutral. So L1 to neutral, L2 or L3 to neutral is 277 volts. The lower voltage is always the higher voltage divided by the square root of three. Okay, so let's make a little room so I can talk about the delta configuration. So with the three wire delta, you have L1, L2, and L3, but no neutral. And it looks like this. It is in the shape of delta, a triangle. And you have L1, L2, and L3 here. With the three wire delta, you can only get full voltage, or in this case, 480 volts. So what does this have to do with terminal units? Well, this mostly comes up with 480 volt electric heat and fan boxes with 277 volt motors. Sometimes people expect a 480 to 277 volt transformer when they get their 277 volt fan box, but a 480 to 277 volt transformer is not a standard transformer ratio, so it'd have to be custom wound and that would make them expensive. The four wire Y is our standard fan box wiring for 277 volt motors because the 277 volt motor needs to have the neutral wire. Now let's say you wanted a 277 volt motor and a 480 volt electric heater on a three wire system. Make a little room. So what you get here is a dual power fan box. You would have line voltage for a 120 volt single phase motor. And then you would have 480 volts for your electric heaters. So now you know the difference between a three wire and a four wire system and how it affects your fan boxes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.